Well, you know what? Um, the Christian faith is not about uh, moral uh, perfectionism. God knows us that we are liable to make mistakes. The good thing about our God is very forgiving and He will not judge us right away. Rather, He will always lead us to consider His way. Hello mga ka-global! Welcome to another episode of the Global Filipino Magazine's Kwento ng Tumupay. And I can say that this is a very special episode right now because we have an evangelist, actually a global evangelist of the PMCC Fort Watch in the house today. Let's all welcome Mr. Jonathan Santos for y'all. Okay, thank you Orly. Thanks for having me in your uh, program. Thanks for him inviting us here. Ang ganda na ano na setup natin here na mm -hmm. bago, di ba? We would like to thank the Lord first yes. for, you know, for this uh -oh. precious time that we are going to spend, of course, with a very significant person. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir, um, my first question is, tell us what your home atmosphere was like, mm -hmm. um, your childhood years, mm -hmm. and uh, did you ever dream of becoming someone you are right now? Mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, applaud mm -hmm. the Global Filipino for putting the spot on the Filipinos and their impact in the global community. Because I really believe that uh, the Filipinos have been uh, endowed and gifted by God with extraordinary talents that we can show to the world and, and bring uh, a positive uh, difference. So uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, speaking of my childhood, uh, I am what uh, people call as a second generation Christian. I am a pastor's kid. Mm -hmm. So my father, oh, really? yes, my father was the one who uh, created and built uh, the PMCC Fort Watch. And now we are in 70 plus uh, countries of the world. And uh, we are celebrating our 50th year uh, this year. And uh, I grew up in that kind of environment, uh, very religious, uh, very uh, pious. But I also had my uh, time of uh, questioning. And I had that season that I was uh, beginning to uh, really seeking answers to uh, my questions. And um, somehow, you know, uh, I did not veer too much uh, far from the path of my uh, parents. So uh, I, I right away identified with, with their calling. Mm. So after na high school, I really wanted to be a journalist. And, uh, but after high school, I felt that the ministry call was um, more powerful and more irresistible. So when was the exact time that you, um, that you feel that you have this calling? Uh, believe it or not, when I was 10 years old. Oh. I was 10 years old when I felt, you know, I, the Lord was calling me to do what I'm doing right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. You grew up with a, uh, a very religious family. Mm -hmm. and Ano ibig sabihin nun, um, disiplinado ka talaga. Hindi ka nababarkada, hindi ka natotropa sa mga yeah. ano, tao, or let's, ano, yeah. please enlighten us. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. you know, my, my parents were very strict disciplinarians, but uh, uh, for a reason, mm -hmm. and uh, with a lot of care and sensitivity, mm -hmm. even though they were disciplinarians, but they raised me and uh, my siblings in love, in care and a lot of grace okay. and uh, actually ngayon i credit only my father for who i am today i, I only have two people in my life that i really look up to mm -hmm. and that is god and my father okay. as long as i am right with god i'm going to be set and as long as my father is happy uh, with me i'm i'm going to be okay why ah. do you think your father shows you but it, Mm. No, we're actually six okay. in the, the family. I was the first one who entered uh, the ministry. Okay. And then, siguro, you know, I guess so. I guess so. But uh, I also have my other siblings mm -hmm. who are in the ministry. Pretty much almost all of us mm -hmm. are in the ministry. Uh, mm -hmm. Three, uh, four of my uh, siblings are in the ministry. And one is also 
a congresswoman and uh, she represents a party list in the Philippines. So she's a pastor and a lawmaker. But do you finish with which course? Uh... Uh, I took up journalism in uh, college and I was almost uh, there. Uh, finishing and graduating from journalism, but I felt that the ministry was so compelling at that at that time. Na hindi na ako makahintay, and so I asked my dad the blessing and uh, you know the approval for me to enter the ministry, and he gave it to me, and I think that was a, a right call. Do you mga advice sa yon ng mm -mm. dad mo when you are going to this kind of path? Mm -mm. Well, you know. Um, he had given me all kinds of advices uh, from being a man to being a father to being a pastor. Uh, but uh, one of the greatest uh, advices and counsel of my father is to always be on the side of righteousness. And that he meant by that as being on the side of God. Di bali na ang ibang tao ay... It is hard, especially. Well, you know what? Um, the Christian faith is not about uh, moral uh, perfectionism. Um, God knows us, and He understands who we are, that we are liable, and we have that proclivity, as they say, to make mistakes, to make uh, errors. But the good thing about our God is He's very forgiving. His long suffering, and He will not judge us right away. Rather, He will always lead us to consider His ways. And pretty much, that's the kind of understanding I grew up with when it comes to God. Now, God is a righteous God, and He demands righteousness. But at the same time, He's gracious. <clears throat> Hindi ba siya galit sa atin? Hindi siya laging nagahanap ng ating pagkakamali. At kung tayo man ay nagkakamali, Lagi siyang uh, nagsisikap na tayo ay ilapit sa kanya. Okay. So from the Philippines, um, saan ka na ba ba after? Um, after I graduated from our uh, seminary, I was uh, sent here in, uh, or in the United States. Oh. Yeah, that was around 1996. And I have been pastoring in the United States uh, oh. for well over 20 plus years already. And uh, I have uh, a very wonderful uh, marriage, and uh, the you Lord met has. Your, your, your wife? We, we met in the Philippines, ah. and then I also uh, petitioned her to be with me in the U.S. And right now LTR we. Huh? Distance and a relationship. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, and then we have uh, two wonderful uh, girls, and one is also considering to enter. Uh, the full-time pastoral ministry, just like oh. me, just like her parents, and just like so her grandparents. Yes. What, what do you think you observe from the things up from your father to you, and mm -hmm. now you to your mother? Uh, well, child? you know, we we share a lot of uh, commonalities, okay. but the strongest uh, common denominator uh, amongst all three of us is our love for God and love for people. You cannot love God without loving the okay. people. Gaano, we're speaking about family mm -hmm. right now. Gaano ka importante sa isang pamilya, especially who are, you know, who are based abroad, no? Mm -hmm. That God is in the middle of their mm -hmm. um, relationship. Kasi, yeah. di ba, pag sinabi mo, nag-abroad yung, yung isa, mabawas ang pamilya. Mm -hmm. Laging ganyan. Mm -hmm. So, I think this will be a good advice yeah. that we can share to all the families mm -hmm. around the globe right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, first of all, uh, any change, mm. any change is uh, carrying a certain degree of stress and mm. pressure. Lalong-lalo na kapag ka ang isang family ay mag-move sa ibang bansa, lalo na sa Amerika. Amerika uh, is a country that has a very powerful culture. Mm. And uh, without uh, a, a reference point, mm. without uh, direction, mm. Madaling maligaw ang mga kabataan. Okay. And uh, from what I am observing, that a family must always be centered upon God. Because God is the one that provides a reference point. Uh, you cannot get to anywhere 
without knowing your origin. Yeah. Um, you know, the Filipino values is one of the, uh, is one of those uh, cultural values that we can be proud of. Because for one, we are strong on faith. Very religious ang Filipino family. And I think that is something that we must preserve, the religiosity of the family. And, uh, but then again, God cannot be put in a box. Okay? And what we need to do is keep God front and center. And that is pretty much where our crusade is uh, coming from. Uh, we have been doing this crusade and many of our uh, audiences mm. are actually uh, families. We're speaking about the home free. Yes, we're talking about the home free. Yeah. 14. Uh, so it means that this is the 14th. The crusade. 14th installment, yes. Tell us more about this. Yeah. Well, first of all, the home free uh, crusade started early at the onset of uh, COVID-19, 2020. And uh, during the uh, pandemic, uh, we know this, that it wasn't only the COVID-19 virus that became pandemic, but fear, anxiety, depression, uncertainty. Ito rin ang kumbaga ay uh, uh, naglumpo at uh, sumira sa maraming kaisipan at damdamin ng mga tao sa buong mundo. And people did not only look for the... Uh, you know, uh, the cure for this uh, pandemic, but they also sought cure for their depression, for their hopelessness and anxiety. And I believe that our only hope is in Christ Jesus, knowing Him for who He is. Kaya, for the past two years, we have been expounding, we have been stressing that there <clears throat> is hope. And this hope is not man-made orly. This hope is God-made. At yun ang aming ini-stress sa mga tao. Na you do not need to succumb, you do not need to surrender to fear, anxiety, depression, and all of this uh, mind-debilitating sicknesses. You can be strong, you can be happy, you can be uh, meaningful, and, and all of those things hmm. can be found in Christ Jesus. Um, the world... The entire world experienced the pandemic. Mm. 2020 when you started. Mm -hmm. 2020 when it came. Mm -hmm. So how did you get that strength in mm -hmm. creating this kind of thinking mm -hmm. while others are in a negative situation, mm -hmm. you created a positive one? First of all, that's uh, a very uh, nice observation. Uh, alam mo, hindi madaling maging uh, malakas. Kaya, diba? Yeah, sa panahon na ang lahat ay parang nanghihina. Oh. When, when everything else was being stopped, yeah. uh, postponed, delayed, we're, we're moving forward. Yes. And I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, the strength of our conviction, the strength of my conviction came from a deep end. Mm -hmm. I really believe in my heart that the gospel of Jesus is powerful. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that it is the power of God unto salvation. Ito ang kailangan ng tao sa ating panahon. Kailangan natin maligtas. At the end of the day, we need a Savior. Mm -hmm. And our Savior is not a man. Our Savior is not religion. Our Savior is not government. Our mm -hmm. Savior is not morality. Our Savior is not even ourselves. Mm -hmm. Our Savior is God. And if we have God on, in our lives, malalim ang paghuhugutan mo. Talagang ibang klase. And so, that's where we came from, uh, in that strength of conviction uh -huh. that Jesus is our hope, that His message of love, forgiveness, salvation, is a message na kailangan marinig ng lahat ng mga Filipino, lahat ng mga tao. So, ang crusade namin is also being, uh, you know, carried in different languages. Yeah. But see, si Pastor Jonathan Creole is also a human being. Yeah. Ano yung mga struggles mo during pandemic that you have survived? Okay. First of all, <laughs> you know, early, I myself, I got COVID-19. Okay. The original one. Oh. The original one. And there was no uh, uh, medicine at that time yet. Okay? Oh. Um, so, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah. Talagang ang lakas ng uh, dating eh. 
Pero, you know what? Um, I prayed and prayed and prayed and I asked the church to intercede uh, for me. And I held on uh, to my faith and somehow God uh, rescued me. And um, uh, our struggles were not only physical, you know, our struggles were also supernatural. Uh, kasi mahirap magsalita na walang tao, nakikita mo lang camera. Kasi bawal noon ng in-person eh. So there was a time that I literally put uh, this uh, standee of people, uh, pictures, I, I put their pictures on the chairs so that I can preach with a sense of connection so I'm not only speaking to a camera because uh, I, I really believe that uh, this message should reach the very heart mm -hmm. yung doon sa kaibuturan ng puso mm -hmm. ng tao mm -hmm. that it should not only be processed uh, in the head it must not only be felt emotionally mm -hmm. it must be it must reach the, the spirit of the man and once it reaches the spirit of the man, then that's where change will uh, begin. Na yung hopeless, magiging hopeful. Mm. Yung fearful, magiging brave. Mm. Yung negative, magiging positive. Yung depressed and anxious, magiging masaya. And this is what I have been seeing for the past two years. So many testimonies of lives being changed. So let's just talk about this coming up show yeah. that you are going to have, mm -mm. the Home 14 Free mm -mm. Blessed Hope Tour, mm -mm. and then we can invite yeah. them to be okay. okay. You know, I really believe that um, itong part of uh, the world, the Middle East, especially here in uh, Dubai, this is an ultra-modern society. Okay. But I see that there are two sides to this city. One that is advanced and sophisticated and modern. Mm. And then there's another side of Dubai wherein it's broken. Okay. Maraming mga Filipino. Nasasadlang sa iba't ibang mga pagsubok, mga kahirap. Yung makikwari ka lang sa pamilya mo, that's gonna drive you crazy. Siguro hindi ka sa And then, uh, you know, let's just be frank. Uh, there are a host of other challenges. Uh, you know, injustice, exploitation, and abuse. Uh, we're not lucky about those things. And uh, whether people are, you know, are going to the people, the universal crime is mahirap pa kung mayroon, ang hinahanap ay pagkasa. Ang hinahanap ay katatagan. Kasi ngayon, kahapang, napapag, hindi, hindi, Hindi pa rin sabihin ng isang tao na may pera siya at siya iset na. Okay. Because, yeah, uh, one day, you could lose everything. And, and so, uh, this is where we're coming from. We're, we're bringing that blessing. It's the, it is not false hope for you. It's blessing because it's from God. And we just want to tell everyone, especially sa ating mga kapwa, mga Filipino, dito sa Dubai na, uh, give us a chance this coming Sunday at the address of them. To, to watch the museum, come in person, and you will not make that. And it's free admission. Right? It is free admission, and uh, you're going to be uh, enjoying very positive, uplifting music. There's testimony. The the uh, the ambience is very uplifting. And uh, pa ka pa na sa yeah. uh -oh. And then I will be giving also a short uh, message of hope. And uh, salvation, and uh, hopefully, uh, more of our fellow Bibles will join. Even not Filipino can uh, join. I hope to see there already. And, uh, I hope you can see there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Alam niyo na mga pulo ba natin sa oras? It's a very interesting topic right now. Having Pastor and Evangelist uh, Jonathan beside me, and uh, sana magkapero to ng part two. Yeah. In the U.S., why not? Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, <laughs> well, it's most welcome. Yeah, maraming maraming siya naman po sa lahat ng mga Don't forget to uh, be there in their upcoming show. It's called Home 314, Blessed Home yes. Tour. And I hope that continue hoping for the best. Yes. Bye, everyone. God bless and stay safe.